Hello there, welcome to episode 14 of How to Program in C++. Uh, today we're going to begin on specifiers and talk about the signed and unsigned specifiers. So, I'm uh, going to do a bit of theory first and then we'll get into some actual examples. Um, in C++, some data types are signed and some are unsigned. A signed data type can hold negative values as well as positive values. Uh, some examples of this could be integer, uh, short or long. And short or long we have not gone over yet, so uh, I'll get to that next time, but just a brief description for now is a short is a a smaller version of the integer it can only hold half the value well it's less than half but in terms of data that it stores in the memory it's half the amount and a long is by default the, almost exactly the same as an integer at least using the compiler that we are using um, so uh, an unsigned data type is one that can only hold positive num values. Now, up until now, I've been telling you that a car can only store positive values. This is the case with some compilers, but it turns out the compiler that I'm using, and you will most likely be using, uh, by default, a car can in fact store a negative value. Um, it's just when you see out the car, it comes out as letter form, so we've not been able to notice it up until now, but a car can in fact store a negative value. So it's not unsigned, it is actually signed. Uh, so there are really no unsigned data types by default that I could name you, but uh, an unsigned data type can only hold positive values. So uh, the caveat of making a variable signed uh, aka be allowing it to be negative, is that you can only store half the maximum value. Uh, this is because internally when the pro computer stores uh, the value in its memory, it stores it in ones and zeros, and it has to use one of those ones and zeros, one of those, yeah, one of one or zero switches to store whether or not the variable is positive or negative. I'll go into this a lot deeper in a separate episode because it would take far too long to give you an in-depth description for now, but just know that you can, if you're going to have a negative or a value that can be negative or positive, you're going to lose half the maximum value. So, in C++ you can specify whether or not you want to use the signed or unsigned form of a data type by using the signed or unsigned specifiers. Uh, you can only use signed or unsigned specifiers on the integer data types, which are int, short, long, and car. Just the ones that I used as examples earlier. Uh, uh, so let's quickly put in an integer. So uh, int value equals 32. And we know, well, let's make it negative. And we know by default we can see out this value and we will indeed get our negative 32. This is because, as I said earlier, integer by default is signed. It can store negative values. Now, the a range of a signed integer is as follows. Now I'm copying and pasting this because I cannot memorize this number. It's too big for me. Uh, but you can go anywhere from this huge negative value to this fairly big uh, positive number. So let's copy the positive number and paste it in here just to prove that you can indeed store a num value as large as this. As you can see, it has come out as exactly the same value. That is good. However, if you try and go over this maximum range, uh, you will run into a weird problem. The number becomes negative because your the computer is unable to store such a large value uh, in that slot that we've allocated using the integer. So it just wraps back around. This is just to do with the way the computer tries and f tries to force the value into that space. However, it can't fit it. And the result is this. This is another thing that I will go over more in depth in the binary episode that I spoke of earlier when I'll go more in depth on how machines store values. But for now, just know that if you try and put a number a value bigger than the variable can hold, it will just loop back around. Uh, so, 
if we do want to be able to store this huge number, then we're going to have to make our integer unsigned. So the way we do that is using the unsigned specifier, which is literally just the word unsigned. And it is put, you put it right before the int uh, data type. So if we run this now, we can store that huge number perfectly and there's no negative sign. We can also go much larger than this. Uh, let's just give an example of a number that is a fair bit larger than that. Yes. Uh, the actual range, I'm going to do some more copying and pasting, is anywhere from zero to this huge number. So let's just prove that you can indeed store this massive, massive number. Value equals this massive number and we'll throw it in there and yes indeed you can store that huge number however if i make it one larger than this something slightly different will happen this time because we're unable to store any negative value uh it will just loop back around to the minimum value which in this case is zero um because we're not storing our, whether or not something is negative or positive so if we make this larger just to prove that the more the larger you go over the larger the outcome number will be you should generally not go over uh, the maximum value that can be stored in the data type uh, it's bad programming uh, it's bad practice to go over the limits if you're gonna store something bigger than what you're if you're gonna be storing a huge number like this then you should use a different data type so, let's give a couple more examples of things, in fact, so, let's try and enter a negative value just quickly to show that if you put something less than what the data type can hold, it will loop around the other way and you will go back up to the maximum value and you will count down. So, let's go over some other data types such as, well, let's, let's try car first. So, car uh, car, you can store anywhere from, by default, minus 128 to 127. This is because, uh, by default, the car is signed, as we spoke of earlier. Uh, so, the only way I'm going to be able to demonstrate this to you, because as you can see, right now it's just going to output the car the character that is associated with that number when we use C out by default. Uh, we're going to put it into an integer first before we display it. So I'm going to make an integer, I'm going to say value2 equals value. And then I'm going to output value2. This is a little bit naughty. You really shouldn't put a data type into another type, data type, but because car stores a much smaller amount of information than an integer, it fits perfectly in the integer. So we can we are able to put, in this case, uh, value into value two. So if we run this now, we will actually get the number that we are storing, and that is minus 32. We can also store up to 127. So let's put in 127, make that positive. And yes, it stores that number. However, if we go one over, it suddenly becomes negative, just as it did before with the int. Now you can do the same thing with the car, which is make it unsigned, and now you can indeed store that 128 without it becoming negative. If for any reason you want to make a signed version of a car and you want to specify that it is signed, you could type signed as your specifier. This would make sure that you are definitely using the signed version, and as you can see, it goes into the negative. Uh, there's, this is kind of redundant because by default, the car is already unsigned, uh, signed, sorry, but if you want to be extra safe, you might want to use the signed specifier. Okay, so that's pretty much going to do it for today. The same thing applies for long and short using signed and unsigned versions. However, I'll probably demonstrate that next time when I go more into the specifics of short and long. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I will see you next time when we go over that.